More on this. You made it very clear this week you're paying attention to the vote in the Senate, in Congress, yes. and you're taking names. Yes. Will you target people, Republicans and Democrats, who do not support a weapons ban, an assault weapons ban, who do not vote for background checks? Will you spend money? lots of money to target them in 2014 in the midterm race well let me phrase it this way i think i have a responsibility and i think you and all of your viewers have responsibilities to try to make this country safer for our families and for each other and if i can do that by spending some money and t taking the nra from being the only voice to being one of the voices so the public can really understand the issues then i think my money would be well spent and i think i have an obligation to do that so you spend we're, money on ads we're starting to run ads today or tomorrow mm -hmm. Um, and I think I've spent $12 million on running ads in a 10 states around the country, explaining to the public what the issues are and how, and urging them to call their senators if they believe that we should have gun checks that stop criminals and people with mental illnesses from getting guns, they should call their, their senators. There, will there be a political price to pay for a Republican or a Democrat who fails to vote based on this public polling to make assault weapons banned or or to uh, uh, vote for background if checks. If 90 percent of the public wants something and their representatives vote against that, common sense says they are going to have a price to pay for that. The public is going to eventually wake up and say I want to put in office somebody that will do the things that I think are necessary for this country. That's what democracy is all about. And all we're trying to do is to tell them what people are doing in Congress. Who's voting for what? And then they can make their own decisions. A couple minutes.